the incalculable loss of history of art of memory. If history is the study of the past, then we pray that Notre Dame will rise again. Then Father Michael Ryan wants people in Paris to look at St. James Cathedral's history and find hope. We had, you know, feelings here at St. James. Uh, what's going to happen after that catastrophic fire here? And we brought it back, and in fact, more beautiful than it was before. And I suspect that's what's going to happen at Notre Dame. On March 7th, 1992, a man broke into St. James Cathedral. Father Ryan says he lit a bowl of matches and the church caught fire. It was just kind of a torch that, uh, that uh, took fire. Two rooms were destroyed and the main cathedral was damaged. I do remember walking into the cathedral uh, sometime after that. You couldn't see your hand in front of you. It was filled with smoke. But what he remembers most is how the church survived. It was one of those great moments of my life. Monday's fire inside Notre Dame reminded Father Ryan of his experience 26 years ago. This is the glass from the stained glass windows that were exploded out of the cathedral during the fire that was picked up from the dirt by this uh, sister who saw the possibility of making something new out of something that was totally destroyed. Officials in Paris say the flames destroyed the church's roof and spire, but the iconic medieval bell towers and many of the artifacts inside survived. Now they look towards rebuilding. Uh, I like to think of cathedrals as kind of unfinished symphonies. You know, they're never really completed. You're always adding to them. Notre Dame now adding this story of hope, also written into St. James history. It will carry on its message and its ministry and its uh, mission long into the future, I'm sure. Callie Greenberg, King 5 News.